Hello YouTube chess lovers and my friends this is Gunjin here welcome to the third episode of Queen Trap Sack Lines in this episode i'm going to show you a wonderful queen trap line in the Richter Rouser attack of the classical Sicilian from the white perspective the opening arises after the following order e4 c5 knight to f3 d6 d4 Pawn takes d4, knight takes d4, knight to f6, attacking e4, knight to c3, defending. And now the characteristic classical Sicilian move, knight to c6. Amongst all white reply, I think Richter Rouser attack is one of the most attacking setup and it commences with the move bishop to g5. So if allowed, then white is certainly going to double black pawn. So accordingly, black needs to stop it with the move e6 and now white will play queen to d2 so you can see the simple attacking scheme by white white wants to quickly castle on the queen side and then launch devastation on the black king side with this pawn strong okay main line move continue with the move bishop to e7 castle on the queen side and now black castle on the king side so it's opposite side castle scenario where every single attacking move counts a lot. White plays the obvious move f4. So not only grabbing space on the king side but there is a threat in the position that is knight captures c6 and then the move e5. So something black needs to pay attention immediately. The main line continue with the move knight captures d4, queen captures d4. So still black is having some problem on the d file. And that's why queen to e5 is a fitting reply. Now the main line here continue with the move bishop to c4. But as usual, I'm going to show you a very surprising move in this position, which creates the platform for our queen trap line. My recommendation is you go with the move e5. So white is attacking two spots. So black response is force. Black has to capture this pawn. And afterwards, we are going to capture with our queen. So you can already see white is attacking the queen. And if black exchange the queen, then the resulting position is slightly better for the white. So many black players, and especially if they are attacking player, then they will certainly avoid the queen trade. And accordingly, as per the database, second highest choice by the black is queen to b6. Well, at first sight, everything looks so normal, but Black's last move is a big time mistake. Before I move on, I'd like you to pause this video and find out a sequence where actually you can win Black's queen or win Black's heavy material. Okay, let's see how accurate your sequence is. The first important move, I think you already guessed it, that is knight to a4. So now this queen has the only two spots to go and wherever she goes, black will get a lost position. For example, the first move I want to consider is queen to f2. Well, after that, just one move, rook to d2. <laughs> and the sweetie is trapped right there. Engine is suggesting black should give up the queen and capture the rook. But in case if you are wondering what happens if your opponent counterattack your queen with knight to g4, well, then it's not hard to spot it because after rook captures f2, knight captures e5, and bishop captures e7, white emerged with a whole extra piece. I think queen to c6 is a more critical response in this position. After that, another piece join into the attack, bishop to b5. Once again, queen has the only move, queen captures g2. But before we look at it, we should obviously see what happens if your opponent counterattack your queen with any knight move. The first knight move I want to consider is knight to g4. Well, after that, the sequence is very easy. We are going to play queen to e2. So two pieces are hanging and black cannot save both of them. 
So after queen to c7, bishop captures e7, queen captures e7, and queen captures g4, white emerged with an extra piece. And instead of knight to g4, if your opponent continue here with knight to d7, then more or less same story. In this case, e7 bishop will hang after queen to e2. So considering all the knight options, it is very obvious that black has to move the queen and queen captures g2 is forced in this position. Well, after that, white has a very easy move, rook to g1. Now this queen has four squares to go, but it doesn't matter wherever she goes, either black going to lose her queen or completely lose a piece. So let's check them by clockwise. The first move I want to consider is queen to h3. Well, after that, white task is very easy. Boom! So black is going to lose whole piece if he's going to save his queen. Well, same goes for the queen captures h2 because this pin is very deadly and in fact cost a piece. The third option is queen to f2. But it doesn't look good either as white is keep attacking this queen with rook d to f1. And now black has nothing better than capturing the rook as after queen captures h2, the same fitting reply, bishop captures f6 and black is going to lose a whole piece. Finally, what happens if your opponent plays queen to f3? Well, at first sight, this looks more safer spot. But after rook to g3, black has to surrender his queen. In both the moves, queen to h5 and queen to a4 completely fails to the tactics of bishop to f6. And if your opponent continue with the move queen to f2 now, then after rook to d2, black queen is a complete corner. Well, I hope you enjoy and learn this wonderful queen trappy line in the Richter Rouser attack. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to like, subscribe and comment on my video. And I'll meet you in my next episode very soon. Bye and take care.